Everybody, Heather here from Heather's Hobby Haven, and today we are going to be coloring our February card kit of the month. This is the Copic card kit, and we're going to be using a magnolia image called Sitting Tilda with Teddy Bear. Isn't she cute? So I've already stamped my image on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with um, Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to start out by um, doing her skin first. So I'm going to start with E21. And I'm going to start laying down my ink where I want it to be darkest. So I want it to be darkest right here in the crease of her dress and right where her arm touches her body. And I'm going to feather that out with E20s or E00. And see how that just made the line there that I put with E21 just disappear? I'm going to finish it off with E000. And again, I'm just feathering it. So I'm just giving it a light flicking motion right on the edge of the E00. Just like that. And then we're going to go do the other side. So again, we're going to start with E21. And I'm going to lay that down where I want it to be darkest. Maybe underneath of her hand where it's sitting on the ground, and maybe give her hand a little, little swirl right up there, so it looks like her her thumb is off of the ground a little bit. And then we're going to add E double zero. And again, I'm just going to feather it, so I'm just going to lightly flick right on top of the E twenty one, and carry it over into my white space. And then we'll fill it in with E triple zero. And again, just flick right on the edge of your E double zero and fill in the rest of your white area. And this time I'm not too concerned about going outside the lines because I'm going to cut her out. So it's okay if you get outside of the lines a little bit. Okay, so let's go up here and do her face. And for that, we're going to start again with E21. Okay, and I want the light to come from this side over here, so I'm going to start with my shadowing right over here underneath of her neck, because her neck's going to cast a shadow, and I'm going to carry it over a little bit here on her dress. And then we're going to add E double zero. I'm going to finish that little bitty spot with E triple zero. So I want it to be, um, lay my ink down where I want it to be darkest first. So of course I'm going to start up here and I'm going to get some of these little spaces that have her bangs are showing through her forehead. And then I'm just going to bring my ink all the way around. Here's a little space for her bangs. Go all the way around her face. It's like that. And then I'm going to come in with E double zero. And again, I'm going to flick right over E21. Just going to flick, flick down into her face. Just like that. And I'm going to leave about the end, the size of the end of my pin, about half that size right here. I can put my pinky in my little white space that I'm going to fill in with E triple um, zero. And again, you're going to flick right on the edge of your E double zero and pull it into your white area. Okay. 
Now let's add some cheek color with R20. So for that, I'm going to start with my R20 out here on the edge. And I want to use these little dots she has on her cheek as a guide. So I'm just going to fill those in, kind of make a little circle, sort of. Same for this side. And then I'm going to take R30 and blend the edges. So I'll just go a little bit on my R20 and just flick it right out just a little bit. And that'll soften the edge of your R20. Okay, and then I'm going to go over her whole face with E000. But again, I'm going to go over my R, my cheek color of R20 and R30. I'm going to pull it out here into the middle. I'm going to do the same thing for this side. Pull it right back into the middle. And I don't want to go over too much or it'll make her face um, orange. So we want to just do a lightly light touch and then let this dry. And then if you want to add some more pink, come back and add a little bit more after it's dried a little bit. Okay, so we're going to start with E13 and I'm going to just lay down a small um, base layer. But I'm not going to go all the way up. I'm going to try to use the hair that these cute little lines she has in her hair as a guide. And I'm going to only go about to where they stop. So see how these stop right here? So I'm just going to leave it white right above that. Same for the top. We're going to go down from the crown. But I'm going to leave a little halo right in the middle of her forehead white so I can fill that in when I come back with this color later. So see how she's got her little halo right there? I'm going to leave that. Then I'm going to start with E15 and I'm not going to go quite to the edge of where my E13 was. So I'm going to start again down here at the bottom of her bangs. I'm going to brush it up and I'm very lightly touching the paper. But you can just barely see just the edges of the E13. all the way across the crown of her head. And I usually work in layers, so I do just her bangs and stuff this time, and then I'm going to come down and do this the her ponytails, and I do that every time. Okay, and then we're going to add E17, and this time I'm not going to go all the way up to where the end of my E15 was, so I just want to pull it short a little bit. right along the top of her head. And again, remember, we're going to cut it out, so if you go out of the lines, um, that's fine. So I'm not being quite as careful as I would be if I was not going to be cutting it out. Okay, and then we're going to add our darkest color, which is E19. And this time I'm just going to put it down here just a little bit on the ends. little bit up here on the crown. Again, I'm using a very light flicking motion. Okay, now we're going to go backwards, so we're just going to go back down. So we're going to go E17, and we're going to cover up the edges of our E19 we just put down. Just give it a little flick right on top. And you can use the E17 you laid down the first time as kind of your guide if you want to just go back to where um, you laid that one down the last time. 
And then we're going to add E15 on top of that. And again, I'm going to go right over the edge of my E17 and just flick up from the bottom of her bangs here. And I'm go going up into the white area a little bit that I um, left to begin with. And go down from the top. See how my white space is, is um, getting smaller and smaller? And then I'm going to do E13. I'm flicking right on the edge of my last color. And I'm going to flick down too. See, so you still got that little, um, it's not white anymore, but she's still got that little highlighted area in her hair. All right, so let's go down and work on her ponytails. So again, I'm going to lay down my, my base color of E13. I'm going to do right next to her cheek here where her hair comes out from behind her ponytail. Same for this side. And then I'm just going to kind of use um, where her hair kind of curls in. I know I'm going to make it darker right in here, so I'm just going to put a little bit of color on that. And then we'll go back up, so I'll do E17. Be extra careful next to her face. Maybe put a little bit out here in the white spot. And then we'll do E... Whoops, that one was E17. I missed E15. That's okay. We'll put E15 on right now. got my pins out of order. And then E19 for some dark areas. So again, I want it to be dark right next to her face where her hair would be coming out. So I'm just going to put a little bitty line right there. And then I'm going to do a little bit where the ponytail scrunchie is on both sides. And then I'm going to get a couple of these little curls. Just run my pin right down there and give it a couple of little dark areas. Same for this side. I'm going to go right next to her face. I'm going to be really careful. Barely touch the paper. And then grab some of these little swirls in her hair. Right next to the scrunchie, it's going to be dark where it goes inside. So it's pulling it in right there. Okay, and then I'm going to go over it with um, E17. Again, we're going to just go backwards. So I'm just going to brush over my E19 very lightly. Kind of blend the end of it just a little bit. Then we're going to add some E15 on top of that. And then I'm going to finish it up with E13. And I'm just going to color over the whole ponytail. She has pretty red hair.